Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be a follow-up video to the last video that I did on raving or the truth about raves. That video was a little bit different than the types of videos that I normally make, so I did get a little bit of a different response. Majority was really positive, and I think that a lot of you guys saw where I was coming from and appreciated that I was being honest about what does in fact go down at these raves. But also, there were a couple people who seemed to be bothered by my honesty and by me sharing my experiences in that video. And also, since then, I've had a couple people ask me why I was going to a rave because I'm going to a rave. I'm going to Phoenix Lights in Arizona, which I'll talk about later on in the video in like a couple weeks. People were like, "Why are you going to a rave if you don't like raving?" That is not the case whatsoever. I actually love raving. I just hope you guys understand where I was coming from when I made that because I know that it could have come off as a little bit negative if you don't know me, if you don't know my channel. The reason why I made that video was because I felt like it was something that needed to be said and also my responsibility as a YouTuber because I don't want to continue to post rave vlogs or post pictures on Instagram where I'm at raves and never touch on the fact that there are bad things that go down at raves because I don't want you guys to have that kind of expectation. I never want any of you guys to go to a rave because you guys see me at raves and think that it's perfectly safe that the things that people do there are perfectly normal and that you shouldn't be aware of your surroundings or that you should just trust everyone at a rave. In that video, I never once said don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. I said I don't personally do them and people who do them a lot of the time end up in the hospital for a couple different reasons. They buy something that's not what they were trying to buy because they get sold something else or they overdose. So I was telling you guys the dangers of doing drugs. You guys should already know this by now. We were taught since we were young in school that drugs are bad, don't do drugs. So I wasn't sitting in that video telling you guys that. And again, not everyone at raves do drugs. I am an example of this. I go to raves and have so much fun without doing that kind of stuff. And there's a ton of other people as well. Drugs do not just exist in the rave community. They are called rave drugs for a reason, like Molly, ecstasy, etc. But that stuff happens at school. That stuff happens with social media people. People. That stuff happens on the side of the road, uh, anywhere you could honestly think of. I'm running out of examples. But the fact was I was not in any way trying to single out raves. I was just telling you guys that you need to be careful if you're going to events like this. One more thing I want to address from that video was that a couple people who were like hardcore ravers in the comments said that me going to four events wasn't enough and I couldn't like understand what raving life is actually like. I haven't just been to four events. Those were just like four big events that I've been to. I've also been to EPR a ton of times, which is like a rave club in the city, but I didn't even like think to mention that because I don't consider it like a real rave as much as the other ones, but a lot of people do because it's the same type of thing. And on my Instagram, if you saw pictures from me being at EPR versus Wobbleland, you wouldn't know the difference because it's like the same type of idea. I've also been really heavily associated with a lot of ravers. A lot of my friends in the Bay Area rave like 24 seven. So I think that I do have a right to speak on the topic. And like I said, I'm not biased because it's not like I've been to every single event there is, but I've also been to events. Like it's not like I have no experience raving. Besides all that stuff, raving is so much fun. So I wanted to make this video to talk to you guys about outfits as well as plur and trading candy, etc. Because when I went to my first rave, I learned about all this stuff and I had no idea how it worked before that. And I remember looking on YouTube, trying to find videos and there really weren't any. Recently, I've been having a lot of friends that are getting into raving for the first time. Time, so maybe you guys are as well so this could be helpful I think first and foremost we are going to start off with trading candy so I have some right here to show you guys in fact I actually made candy with my subscribers with Natalia when we did meetups over summer in Columbus and Cincinnati so a couple of these say yeah gator squad and I think I have another one it says a C bus and meetup that's Ali Columbus Natalia Mita. Here's one, it says fluffy squirrel XXX. I have no idea what that means, but it's pretty cool. You put it on just like so. They're called candy, like K-A-N-D-I. And I thought that was weird at first too. I didn't understand. I thought they were actual like literal candy bracelets that you ate, like I didn't get it, but that's just what they're called. You could just trade them normally, but a lot of people, they do peace, love, unity, respect, and like they, they trade them like that. So it goes on the other person's hand and then they've made a bond, they've made a friendship. So that's a really popular thing among raving, which I think is awesome. And it's also really fun to actually make the candy yourself because I mean, you can't really, I mean, you could buy these probably, but 
the whole idea is to make them yourself. So I have one that someone gave me that says alligators on it. And then like this one has a slinky. You just get all kinds of different cool candy and like ones that go all up your arm by the end of the night if you want to trade candy, if you want to go hard. So that's a really big component of raving in my opinion. You can look back and like see everyone you met that night because a lot of the times they'll put their name on it or something that symbolizes them. Which brings me to my next topic. A lot of people will have rave names or like a rave fam, rave squad when they go to events. So rave fam, rave squad, that kind of speaks for itself. That's just like your crew, people that are like in your clique that you go to these raves with. Whenever I've gone to raves, it's been with like my rave fam, you know, or you'll meet people there and they kind of become your rave fam if you want them to be and you hang out with them at future raves. But as far as rave names go, that just kind of symbolizes like who you are at these events. A lot of the time it'll have something to do with like what you're wearing. Like I have a friend who wears the same outfit every time he goes to raves. And so his Instagram name and his like rave name was basically describing that outfit for like a super long time. Mine, I don't really have one, but a lot of people call me alligator. And that's why a lot of people have made me candy that says alligator on it. People who probably don't even know I have a YouTube channel. They've just like been calling me that because people started calling me that at raves. So like some people refer to me as that. Other than that, I don't really have one and you don't have to have one, but it is a lot of fun because you just feel like you get to go out and like be this different person and call people by these cool nicknames and whatnot. So that's like a pretty cool thing. A big question I get all the time, which is like the next topic I'm going to move into is what do you wear at a rave? Whenever I post pictures on my Instagram of me at raves, I get a bunch of comments like put on some clothes, like you're half naked. That's kind of how you dress at raves. I don't know. That's like how everyone I know dresses at raves. Some people dress more revealing than others. There's a lot of girls who will just wear pasties like covering their nipples and that's it with like alien designs on them or something like not even wearing a bra. Majority of people there wear bras or like crop tops, tank tops, something that lets a breeze in because it gets really hot when you're in a crowd full of people, especially if you're at like a really big event. So I think that's a big reason why people are not covered up as much. Also because it's a really cool way to express yourself. I don't have a lot of the outfits I've worn in the past because I've got rid of them just because for me it's kind of like homecoming. You wear a dress once and you don't want to take pictures in it again. So like I've sort of got rid of and said goodbye to a lot of my rave bras, but my first and second rave I ever went to, I actually made the bras myself. I hot glue gunned them. I'm going to try to insert some pictures on the screen as I talk about this. These are just some examples of like what I personally worn to raves, but if you look it up, you'll see that a lot of people have a lot of different styles. I have pretty much kept it with the furry boots every time because I bought that at my first rave, or you can do like high knee socks. I just worn the same pair of white vans as well because they're just super trashed and dirty and I don't care what happens to them but you just basically express your style you'll see some people with the flower crown I think that's kind of like a first time raver thing that's what I wore to Wobble Land but you can really wear whatever you want to wear people at raves contrary to what I said in the last video about they might judge you if you don't do drugs I don't want you guys to feel like that because it is a really accepting place to be like you can dress like that and no one's gonna look at you weird and everyone's really cool about it like everyone's dressed that way and so you're just dancing you're just feeling free in your skin you have the candy bracelet on a lot of girls will wear like cool makeup or do their hair differently etc so honestly there's no rules when it comes to what you want to wear if you don't feel comfortable showing that much skin you can wear like a t-shirt and shorts like you're totally fine it doesn't matter what you wear it's just if you want to dress like that you can and no one's gonna judge you so yeah like I said I've actually super glued my bras in the past but that's really expensive so don't feel like you have to do that because I've also just worn like bralettes or like regular bras also a big component are like the fishnets you'll see a lot of the time or like I mentioned the fuzzy boots I got those off Amazon for like 10 bucks they were super cheap and I've worn them like over and over and over as far as bottoms go you could wear like you could get away with wearing underwear some people wear thongs like I'm telling you if you think what I'm wearing is scandalous you don't even know like some people are basically naked and that's fine that's like totally fine at rapes like people are so okay with it and so accepting etc but a big thing they don't allow at raves is like backpacks all the time. Like they will search you. So sometimes you'll see girls wearing fanny packs. I've never worn a fanny pack to a rave because I've always been with my guy friends and they've had like pockets. You know how guys have like deep pockets. So I've had them hold my phone or like anything else I needed, which is basically just my phone because a lot of the time they don't let you bring in water bottles or makeup because they think that you could be hiding drugs in there. Like molly water etc so a lot of the time they're really strict when it comes to basically anything other than having a fanny pack with like your phone and some money in it light shows okay this is something that i think has been in every single one of my rave vlogs at least once basically where someone is 
flashing their hands all around you with lights, like different colored lights. It's a really weird concept when you like hear it that way. But when I went to my first rave, I was obsessed with it. When that clip was in my rave vlog at Crush, a lot of people were commenting saying that's the reason why I was on drugs because I had a light show. I didn't even know that light shows were associated with drugs until after like a few times of me doing them and like having a light show done to me. I've never done one for someone else because it's like a skill you have to master, but I didn't even know that it was associated with drugs. And I definitely don't think that it has to be because I've had them done sober and they're great. They're so much fun. And it's something that is really special having to do with raving. Like you don't really see that done anywhere else. Nowadays they're banned a lot of the time, like at big events, just because people do associate them with drugs as well as the pacifiers. If you guys have seen people wearing those at raves, they'll suck on like binkies. I thought this was so weird when I first started raving, but like literal pacifiers. And I guess that is also associated with drugs like when you're rolling you have a light show done or you're like sucking on pacifiers So you're not like grinding your teeth or whatever you could do anything and not be on drugs Like just because you go to an event doesn't mean that you're on drugs Just because you have a light show done to you does not mean you're on drugs So I'm just telling you guys what is banned for events or what you may typically see at events for one reason or another it Does not mean if someone has a pacifier they're doing drugs moving on if you're a social person Or if you want to be more extroverted like maybe you have a hard time opening up and meeting people go to a rave people will do it for you people will come up and introduce themselves when i went to life in color that's actually the night that i met angie we were both on people's shoulders that's another thing people do at raves a lot of the time they'll sit on people's shoulders so they can see the show better and it's really cool to like look at how things look from up that high like when you're looking down at everyone and like touching people's hands and whatnot everyone's really really friendly overall at the raves even though like i said in the last video some of it may be a little bit superficial and because people are on drugs that can happen anywhere else and overall i think the people at raves are a lot more inviting than maybe a lot of other communities. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I am going to Phoenix Lights in Arizona. It's on the 9th. I believe it's the 8th and the 9th, but I'm just going on the 9th because I'm literally flying there. I changed my flight to go a day earlier so I could go with my friends. So maybe I'll see some of you guys there. And if you guys want, I wanted to put out this video first. So then I could ask you guys if you'd want to see like a get ready with me rave edition because I've never really done one, but I think it would be fun. That way you guys can see how I do my hair, my makeup, my outfit, etc. because I kind of already have an idea of what I'm going to wear and it's going to be fun. So let me know in the comment section below. Also let me know if you guys are ravers, if there's anything I really missed or you want me to elaborate more on if you are confused and you've never been to a rave because there's just a lot I could say. Also give me a thumbs up if you like this video, if you want me to continue talking more about raving, etc. I'm doing this because honestly, no one else has really talked about it. So let me know in the comment section below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I put out new videos all the time. Hit that bell button next to the subscription box. Follow my social media. I'll have it on the screen if you guys want to hang out on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, etc. That way you guys can kind of see my rave journey when I'm not just talking about it on here. So yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Later, all getters. Bye.